Yeah. There's a mama bear with the little cubs. Look at that, three little cubs. That's not a very big bear, is it? And they're, they're gone. Anyways, there's some shitty videotaping. I was sitting out here on the phone and there's a bear. Seven o'clock in the morning, day two. Let's get on with it. So, do you guys ever take toilet paper roll from your hotel motel? I know you take the shampoo and the thing stuff and the conditioner, but do you take the toilet paper roll? I did, I just might need it. So anybody out there that wants to say anything about the mama bear and the baby cubs I showed yesterday that I saw, three little cubs, I was standing really far away. I had my camera super zoomed in. I was standing right beside my car with the door, door open in case she came and charged at me. I could jump in my car and lock the freaking door. And I warned everybody in the parking lot there's a bear there with the baby cups. So our first stop of the day on the way back is going to be Port McNeil. Go check it out. I don't want to do too much filming when I'm driving today, but you can see there, out there, straight ahead is the ocean. Probably like a, some kind of, well, it's a port. That's what it is. <laughs> Got this little motel here called the Humpback Inn. Man, that's where I wish I would have stayed. That's right on the water. Park right in front of your thing there. Um... I'm not too sure what these roads are here. Pull up here and get out for a minute. No parking. But I'm parking. So I imagine back in the day, you know, I was talking to my buddy Rogan last night on the phone. Actually, I was on the phone with him when I seen those bears. He was like, get the hell, get the hell away from that bear, man, with the cubs. That's when I went to my car. He was telling me that Port Hardy, back in, so this is British Columbia, Canada, Port Hardy where I was yesterday, was like the crazy fishing boom town. That used to be like a crazy boom fishing and mining town. And uh, there used to be like three strip clubs there. And that town was happening. And I'm sure lots of the boats uh, moored here too. I can see a few fishing boats, a couple whale watching boats. So, but um, that's that. So I think I'm going to go over to uh, Telegraph Cove. I got told I have to see it. It's a pretty neat little place. All these places are neat little places, right? Yeah, there's a fisherman working on his boat right there. Anyways, off to Telegraph Cove. So I believe this will be Telegraph Cove. Logging truck. Gotta watch out for those logging trucks. Yep, Telegraph Cove. Do we, where we go? So, Telegraph Cove. I think we're kind of... took me about 10 minutes driving in here to get in here. Nice area. Got old train tracks there or something. Always green here on Vancouver Island, that's for sure. Lots of greenery. Lots. And 
here is, I believe, a mill. That would be a mill, all right. See this Douglas Farrell, there's some cedar. There's a cedar, we got some cedar, Western Red Cedar. Look at all the wood out there. Douglas fir, cedar, Douglas fir, cedar. And there's the ocean out there. Oh, I smell the fresh cut wood in the air. Yep, still, still driving. It's been like a 15 minute drive into here, but uh, the ocean's just that way. That way. Anyways, I'll get to the, I don't want to film in my car all day today. I think we're pulling up to, to it. Nice place. Yeah, this is a little cove, that's for sure. Yep. Yeah, this gnarly old cedar tree. Anyways, I don't want to be. So, looks like I can walk down there. But here's the problem. I gotta go to the washroom. So I pulled up down here so you guys can see. Well, here it is. Some of it. I don't wanna be driving and filming and pissing off the locals. But let's see where this goes. Just gonna pull up over here. Just gonna, uh, I can't park here. It's paid parking, but I'm just gonna come in here, come in here, and nice little cool area. I got some big boats in here. That's where the boats come in. Right there. So this is Telegraph Cove. Yeah, super neat little area. This is where, like, uh, they should film the movie Popeye, probably in here. But yeah, so that's where they come in right there. Kayaker out there right now. It's like a coffee shop over there. Nice clear water. Look at that nice boat. Yep, clear water there. You can see the ocean floor. Anyways, I hate to cut this part short, but uh, I love to walk out to that part of the dock there. I 
could walk out there I think take my drone out there but I got to go to the washroom and there's looks like there's no places I just don't want to walk in there and say hey can I use your shitter so that's Telegraph Cove beautiful place I'll be back here again next time spend some more time here maybe even rent a kayak How about this? Telegraph Cove washrooms. Welcome or black bear snow. What's the cool? So that was a great find. I'm just gonna walk over here. Like I said on some of my other videos, I don't really like filming too much in public. I'm just gonna walk up here. See they have grizzly tours. There you go, just carver up. I will be looking into that grizzly tour thing later in the year because I would love to see some grizzly bears. Awesome little area. So that's where we were before, just basically over there. Over there, looking over here. But very good. Okay. We've seen it. We saw it. I pulled over just outside the cove and I'm going to try and fly my drone over it in here, up there. The cove's right there. Okay, so it's, um, I was up till two in the morning editing this video last night now it's six in the morning the next morning and it's just way too early for me to do a voiceover so for both these flying drone parts I'm just gonna put some cheesy music on here if you want to watch the beautiful scenery you can if you don't want to watch you just don't have to all right all right
All right, so that was cool. So it's the the DJI Mini 2 SE. Uh, they're out, like DJI's are out to four now, but I just got the two. That's the cheapest, cheapest good one I could get. Anyways, I hope I saved it. So just on my way out, I, th I thought I'd stop here for a minute. Show you guys this view. It's noisy because that's where the um, the mill is down there. But mountains as far as you can see back. Look, look at the greed. You can just see the ocean a bit through there. Anyways, I'm heading back to Campbell River. I'll stop and take some footage. I mean, that's where my next hotel is. I think it was Campbell River. I'm going to sleep in Campbell River tonight and uh, go to Port Alberni tomorrow. And uh, hopefully go see uh, Ryan Cook and Uncle Kevin. Watch some carving for a bit, hang out for a bit. Don't feed the bears, Jessica Rob. Don't feed the bears. There's the garbage cans. So it's a long, beautiful back drive back to um, Campbell River. I think I got a motel or a hotel, whatever you call it. I usually just get the cheapest one I get. But I think it's right on that, uh, I think it's on the ocean kind of thing. Where they kind of by where they carved, I guess. Um, but I want to give a shout out right now while I remember to Mr. Chris Berenger. AKA wheels. Thanks for the uh, chip in uh, for this trip, Chris. And let's see what I have for dinner because you will be buying me dinner. And thank you so much, man. And um, I appreciate all the support over the years you've been um, supporting the channel. Thank you. So I'm in the middle of basically. But fuck nowhere. What's this place called? Eagles Eagles Nest Rest Area. See all the mountains up here. And I might just stop for a little break. What's the rush, right? So I figured what I'm gonna do is get the drone out and um, film it just so you guys can see the mountains. And uh, it sounds like there's a, like a river back here, so maybe we can get some of that too. I'm not a very good drone flyer, so. Keep your drone flying comments to yourself, haters.
All right, put back away. That worked out pretty good, so let's just uh, carry on. <laughs> well, that's the highway there. But here's the little town my buddy Stu said I should stop in and see. It's called Was, part of the Nimpkish Valley. So, I'm going to go check it out. Like I said, I didn't really want to do too much driving and talking today, but... Just thought I'd show you guys the little houses and stuff. Man, this is where I need to live. Just really in the middle of the mountains. Yep. Maybe I should move here. Just do my YouTube from here. Don't need much money. Go hunt some deer. Go to the bar, find some whales. Just kidding. So here's, I think we're in the town. And there's the fire department. Was Lake Volunteer. Yeah, lots of the fire departments down here are all uh, volunteer. I don't know what's down there, but uh, yeah, look at this cool place. What does this say? A place is for sale. Man, probably hear the wolves in here. Lots of bears and wildlife come through here. Anyways. I better get out of here before a bunch of Indians are like, uh, no white, there's a burl in somebody's front yard. Yeah, so 
there's the address. M35. Okay, somebody's behind me, but um, that's the town. I guess there's no stores here. Maybe there is. Pretty neat little village, though. So. I'd live here. Look at this tree there. It's got a bunch of stuff all over it. Teddy bear tree. Anyways, there's teddy bear tree. I'm gonna do research on internet when I get to my hotel later. Everybody's got firewood in their front yards. Just logs and chopped up firewood. I'm gonna do research on that uh, house for sale. See how much it's, um, see how much it costs. You know, I, can, I know the town that I live in, Ladner. You can't even buy a freaking house for under a million dollars. Some biker's arrow. There's the gas station. There's the store. There are some bikers. You know, Rick. Anyways, no more filming and driving. So I just pulled off the highway. Here's a place called Welcome to Sayward. I think I'm gonna go check it out. Why not? What's the rush? Got some resorts in here. Mobile Home Park. And there's a bridge. There's a bridge coming up here. One way bridge. Maybe um, there's a fishing spot there or something. Nice, nice river. Let's see. Oh, yes. This is a time to bridge one way, so I better get off of it. Yeah, so I think this is uh, possibly an old logging town. I've seen some big... Uh, big things back there to do with logging so let's get to the town see what's happening I might as well keep filming um, you know lots of cool places here like this is like living in paradise you know back there in the forest I just got a message from uh, Ryan Cook. I asked him. He did a big old giant, did a big old giant chainsaw carving in the Campbell River, and I want to find out what park it is, because um, that's really um, Ryan Cook is the reason that I chainsaw carve when I first first started googling and stuff like that. Just carve, Rob. You're sending me a message. How you doing, buddy? Yeah. So, like, look at that big burl. Oops. Look at that big burl in somebody's yard there. Yep, just a big burl planter. Oops, here comes a biker. Yeah, like cool places like this. Still, you know, still here. There's not much places left. Well, there is once you get out into the friggin' wild, but on the mainland. All the little towns like this are getting redeveloped and shit, right? So, I was raised in a little town like this with farming and fishing without the mountains, but like we're at the mouth of the ocean, that's where I live, at the, at the mouth of the Fraser River. So anyways, I'm going to keep driving here. So yeah, there's the rec center. Um, 
I think I'm pretty well at the end of the line here. But like, there's an ambulance little thing. But like, how cool is it to live in a town surrounded by mountains like this? Oh, RCMP station. Better not film and drive. I'm going to, um, got to park there and you like, kind of like a pond lake over there. Um, I'm going to start heading back to Calma River. Yeah, I just stopped for a minute. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Ease, Eve River Division. That is a big old Douglas fir. Huge log. I got a piece of log like that at my uh, carving tent. 650 years old. Then you got some old mining equipment up there. Pretty neat. So I'm gonna head back over the bridge and back on the highway. Yeah, I bet you there's some good fishing down there. Oh yes. Carry on, carry on. Some bikers. Gas station equals coffee. What's this dodo doing here? Without any lie, when I went and got my coffee, I heard two dudes talk. She's cute. She's gone, but I heard two dudes talking. One dude said, hey, is the grizzly bear still around? The other guy goes in excitement and goes, oh yeah, he's still trolling around, big old grizzly, yep. Uh, thanks for the hot dog wheels, Chris. Yep, carry on, carry on. So yesterday, I uh, woke up at six in the morning and I stayed up till two in the morning last night because I had to edit the first video. So this has been quite the long haul for me. Um, but it's been 100% well worth it. Um, the, like, look at the views I get when I'm driving. There's the ocean. You can't, can't really see it, but it's unbelievably beautiful. I'm just pretty tired, so let's make it back to Calumbo River and um, go see that, find that Ryan Cook giant carving. Back in civilization. People, yep, more people. Lots of um, mining and um, logging equipment around here. I know Parker's, Parker Lewis from Gold Rush. I, I don't know if it was here, but I know he bought a one of his um, that new Gold Rush that thing that he's got, the shaker thing, the, to get the gold, the big huge machine for millions of dollars. He bought it from uh, around here. I seen him. Parker Lewis was here actually. I think it might have been Nanaimo, which is about 100 kilometers away. Okay, so I talked to Ryan. Ryan said he doesn't know the name of the park where the curving is, but he says just before the bridge, like on that side of this bridge, um, with some businesses around it. So I got to, look at that river. Anyways, sorry I'm filming so much when I'm driving, but I got to find a park. An airplane there. Oh shit, I'm on the highway. Fuck! Well, I couldn't find the park, so. And I'm kind of just a little bit too tired to look for it without losing my cool. So my hotel will be somewhere, motel I should say, down that way somewhere. Then um, I'm going to get into my, i got to wait two hours till before I can book in. Then I, I think I got it right across the street from that beach where those carvings are kind of by there but farther away. Then I'm going to do a little bit of beach combing. 
and uh, my shoes are still clean. I got my beach combing shoes. Gonna do a little bit of beach combing. And uh, probably that's about it. Cause I do need to find a piece of wood to start whittling or at least take it home and carve it to send along with the knife the pocket carving knife that I bought for somebody to win oh they got a whale watching boat out there yep I think uh, when Ryan and Kevin were carving here over that way past that break water I think there was a whale in there a big gray whale or something so, but this is a nice moorage. My real dad lives on his boat right downtown Vancouver in uh, underneath, the, I think it's the Granville Street Bridge in False Creek. Oh yeah, beautiful area. But um, I guess I'll, maybe I'll go beach combing first and get that thing. I'm getting tired. Uh, this video might not be much longer, but then again, it probably will be, but then again, it probably won't. Hi, Rick. So I'm just at the mall. That's where I was just now looking at the boat thing. These are pretty cool benches. Kind of native style. Well, they are native style, but shows you how easy they are to make. Anyways, I'm going into winters. Well, I got a dash mount for my camera anyways I'm gonna go see my my hotel I hope it's a dump so I got it on there it's kind of stupid waste of $20 it's got a magnet magnet thing right here then I had to get glue a little metal thing to my phone Where's that thing? Kind of flimsy piece of crap is what it is. But it's better than me friggin' driving it. I'll order a better one on Amazon when I get home. Who is hot out here? Yes, it is. Well, it's not too bad. It seems to be working. Let's go over up some bumps. Where am I going here? I just don't know. Oh yeah, I'm going to look for my hotel. Anyways. All right, hands free, it works. Ooh, it's like a sauna. It's a little shaking a little bit though. I don't know, maybe my video stabilizer will um, ease that out. Get it straight here. Shit, I forget the name of my motel. The Trade by a Museum. It'll be on, it'll be on that side. So the ocean's on where my finger is, so it'll be on that side across the street. Anyways, I'll find it. I shall find it. Above Tide Motel, that's it, Above Tide. All right, here it is. And look at the uh, ocean there. Yep, and I think I got the ocean view. Hope I got the upper deck, but I can't go there right now. Okay, so I got into my hotel, or motel. Just uh, kind of chilling out here. I've already been inside, but let's play, pretend I haven't. Okay, so, boom, here it is take the key out man I only got 13% battery left here's the washroom 
Hello. This is the bathtub, the shower, thing, microwave thing, the fridge. They got some cremos in there. They they even have the pods, the coffee pods that I I, I have at home. Yes, perfect. Double beds. Little TV. Now here's the thing. Ocean view. Originally, my room was down there, but she said there's one upper room left. Do you want it? And I says absolutely. So you want gonna be doing here tonight? The only reason I'm probably gonna leave here. Is to get food from wheels or maybe they'll maybe I'll get a pizza delivered or something huh how's that this room was cheaper than the last room that I had man I want to stay here two nights wouldn't you and guess what cruise ships go through here whales go through here porpoises like dolphins and I bet you I could even just go fishing right out there I bet you catch a bullhead now this is what I'm talking about yes now I got a lot of editing to do you know what I'm gonna go down I'm gonna see if I can walk down to that beach right now see if I can find a piece of wood She's cute, house cleaning. Anyways, yes. I'm gonna relax a minute. Huh? How's that? There's some beautiful British Columbia for you, West Coast. Man, I wanna stay here two days, but my buddy Tim's rushing me to get to Lake Cowichan so we can go to Port Renfrew. That's where the real beach combing is. It's even got a screen door. Oh yeah, look at this man. Look at this, total private. I'm just gonna sleep with my, my, I'm on the bed, I'm just gonna sleep like this, move those chairs, and I got an ocean view when I wake up. Yes. Yes, can't get, get up. Oh man, I'm so happy, this is just friggin' awesome. But I have to show you guys this. Look, there's a boat full of people out there. Where's that boat? They're going whale watching. Ravens, you hear the raven? Yeah, that's a raven. See it right in the middle of the screen? Oh, yeah, I'm going out of the beach right now. I gotta charge my drone, I got a lot of editing to do. So, above Tide Motel super nice lady in the reception I can't get down to the water that way because there's a cliff there but she says if I go to the fence line over here I can walk down there man this is some kind of a, it's kind of some kind of pass I got to find out the name of this place but I got to I don't have much battery left but I want to get down there and just take a look anyways Sequoia Park, this is called. Yeah, so perfect. There's a path right here to get down there. Oh man, I'm gonna have to walk back uphill. That's all right. But I seen this park. Sequoia. So I'll walk up to it. Obviously it's called Sequoia Park because this is a big sequoia tree.
Yeah, big, big old sequoia right here. It's beautiful wood, but uh, when it grows on the mainland, it's super, um, super wide grain and super heavy. But once you get into the hardwood, it's pretty beautiful. Okay, I'm killing my battery. Okay, down we go. Well, this could be quite the, the height back up. What's all this metal shit down here? It's where crackheads be smoking. It's all roofing shit and siding shit, but look at this. It's a broom handle. Oh, but it's also a walking stick. Crackheads be smoking. Some kind of apple tree here. Apples aren't ripe though. There's little berries down here. I don't think there would be. Oh, busy. We're basically in the city of, uh, friggin' forget the name of it. What's going on around here? Well, yeah, so you can see this is just kind of like a rock cliff. No driftwood down there either. Man, I gotta walk back up the hill for this bullshit. There's gonna be lots of uh, beach combing at, uh, yeah, no driftwood, just rocks. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna go upstairs, charge my phone, and I'm gonna go into town, I'm gonna get something to eat, and I'm gonna stay at my hotel for the rest of the night. And just, man, do what I've always wanted to do. Overlook the ocean, and friggin' take it easy. But I might go to the main beach and see if I can find a piece of cedar to start whittling or something when I'm sitting on the balcony. Fuck, uphill I go, ah, oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to be sore tomorrow. <laughs> Just kidding. Kind of. What the hell is in there? I don't know. There's weird flies around it and shit. Anyways. Thank God for this walking stick. Leave it here for somebody else. Okay, to town I go. Just as I pull in to do a U-turn. Look, it's Dick's Fish and Chips. Yeah, that's what I'm getting tonight, but I gotta get some milk. Bones dying. Uh. Where's the whales? Uh. Okay, so my phone was dead, but when I was going to get some stuff, got some treats for tonight, I found a piece of bark, cottonwood bark, I found this piece of cedar driftwood, and I found this piece of, I don't know what kind of wood. So one of these, I'm going to, I'm probably going to do it, um, be a wood spirit on this corner of this one or something. I'm not too sure, but now 
I'm going to get some fish and chips. So that's going to be it for this video. I got my milk. I got fish and chips. Thanks to Wheels in the UK. I got some coleslaw. I got some french fries. This is cod. Fish and chips. Man, the dude that owned the store was super nice. Look at all the tartar sauce he gave me. I'm like, how? what? How the, like how am I gonna eat all that tartar sauce? Anyways, get out there, enjoy your life, everybody. I'm have this 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 part right here, able to look at the ocean when I'm gonna edit this video. It is freaking fucking fantastic. couple of dudes that just pulled up on their Yamaha bikes or uh, drinking beer listening to music babbling on the friggin patio ruining my quiet time my Jordy time Anyways, as long as you enjoy your life, I guess. Nice and mellow. Too bad the sun sets back this way and not over there. Because that would be friggin' unreal. Lots of little birds down buzzing around in here. Little bird forest. And they stopped. 